Hi, this is Dave Lorenzo with RainmakerLawyer.com. Today we're going to talk about how to write a special report in four hours or less. That's right, you heard me correctly. We're going to talk about how to write a special report or a white paper, whatever you'd like to call it, in four hours or less. This is going to be really, really powerful stuff for your marketing because as we've discussed in the past, special reports or white papers can be used as great lead generation tools. They can be used in exchange for getting business cards at a speaking event or for someone visiting your website or just in place of a brochure. White papers and special reports are fantastic for introductions to your services. So, here's how you can write a special report in four hours or less. First and foremost, you need to go through everything you've written in the past, say, 12 months. So look through your blog posts, look through any documents that you've written as uh, articles for trade journals or you know the media, look for any position papers you may have written or op-ed pieces you may have authored, and find the key components of those. And don't exactly plagiarize, but make sure you repackage all of that material and put it in sequential order. You can pick and choose from each of these different sources, repackage it and put it in sequential order so that it makes sense. Now, the second step is to optimize all of this material into a quote unquote step process. So, the three steps to doing X, or the five key components involved in Y, or the seven deadly sins of X, or the 12 steps to doing this type of activity without uh, violating the law. You get the idea. Having a list with a numerical process is easy for people to understand and digest. So taking material that you've already covered in the past and formatting it in a way that is sequential and easy to digest is a great format for a special report. Third, after you've done these first two things, you go through the document that you've created now and you edit it. You look through it and you make sure you have been as clear and concise as possible and used as few words as possible and put it in the best sequential order possible and it makes the most sense. So after you've edited it for content, then you set it aside for a day or two and come back to it. When you come back to it, you read through it again, make some additional touch-ups to it, and then write up a summary and put that summary right in the beginning of the special report. Very important, put a summary right in the beginning of the special report so that people know what they get when they read it. The next step is to write a conclusion for the end. So, just like the summary in the beginning, you want to wrap everything up nice and neat and put the conclusion right at the end. So now you have a summary at the beginning, which is kind of like an introduction. You have your three, five, or seven, or twelve, whatever it is, steps to XYZ, your special report and then you have a conclusion at the end. The next thing you should do is again set it aside and hand it out to a couple of people who you trust, non-lawyers, for their feedback. Very, very important that you get feedback from people who are just like the folks who are going to read your special report. Get that feedback and then make any changes you feel are necessary and appropriate. Keep in mind that the feedback you're going to receive most of it will be valuable, some of it you can just discard because, you know, not everything is critical to the success of the paper. So, take the feedback with a grain of salt, but make the changes that are relevant and important to it. Finally, send it out to someone to copy edit it. Now, copy editing is editing for punctuation, grammar, spelling, all the sentence structure, verb and noun use, making sure that everything agrees in case, number, and gender. You always want to have your work copy edited before it goes to the public. Now, local English teachers, for example, are great resources for this. Find a high school or college English teacher, give them your paper, have them look through it and correct it, pay them a small fee. You can put an ad on Craigslist to find someone if you don't know someone, but just about all of us can find somebody who's a fantastic English teacher or a professional editor to look at our work and proof it. That's the last step. After you do that, 
package it nice and neat and make it look really professional, and then you can PDF it and send it out to anyone that you deem is appropriate. You can put it on your website and have it distributed with an autoresponder email campaign, or hand it out at a speaking event, or have it printed up in place of brochures. There are a number of different things you can do with your special report once it's complete. Those are the eight steps to writing a great special report in four hours or less. You can write this special report, get it done, and once you have it, you can use it forever. So I highly encourage you to sit down and look through your material and find something you can write a special report on today. For more great tips just like these, you can find me at RainmakerLawyer.com. My name is Dave Lorenzo, and I hope you have a fantastic day.